All right, this tutorial is going to be a foundational one for utilizing SureDash for a workshop content stream model where you offer workshops that are free, then upgrade into workshops that are paid, maybe sell courses. I'm gonna show you a lot of those mechanics as it involves SureCart and getting a user to be able to basically purchase or opt into a free workshop or a paid workshop and then get presented with more information and how all of that kind of works with Sure members. I'm going to get started by adding in my actual workshop. This is the actual content that somebody is going to get access to inside of SureDash once they have signed up. And I'm going to go with the free model for now. So I'm going to add a space group into SureDash here. I'm going to call this workshop so that I can reuse it in the future. And if somebody gets an account inside of uh, my website for SureDash, they're going to see all these workshops and they're going to have the opportunity to enroll in one, join one, uh, and browse the basically the gallery on the left hand side here of all the different workshops that I have and of course they can sign up for more of them get tagged on my email list and all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this workshop space group and we're going to add a new type of space content here and you have different options but one of the most I think versatile ones for for this method is going to be the blank space because there's just so much we can do with it. So I'll bring in one of my workshops that I had externally, and this is this is what I plan to do uh, with mine. Uh, actually, before we get going with that, let me just jump back here and say, heads up, I am recording this in the alpha version of SureDash. I believe it's like alpha two. A lot of this might change, a lot of the different screens, some of the terminology I'm using might change as they kind of adapt and develop SureDash further. So if there's major changes, I will make new tutorials. If there's just subtle changes to words and stuff like that, feel free to leave a comment saying, hey, this changed. Is it called something else? And I can answer that for you. But I'm hoping that most of this stays the same. Um, so again, going to keep going here. Um, but I just wanted to make you aware of how that works. All right, let's jump back in here. So I'm going to call this one my migrating to Astra and Spectra. It's a course that I have or actually a workshop that I have about transferring from another tool. Um, but that'll suffice for the title. Um, we can go ahead and publish it. I'm going to disable comments and we'll create our blank space here. All right, I have a featured image um, that I'll, I'll grab and bring over, but let's go ahead and start by editing our content under the content tab here. And then under the default content, let's click edit. Now I already have this page built. And for me, I'm just going to copy it from my actual website, which is my convology.com website. And I'm going to just paste it in because I use Spectra. Uh, so Spectra can paste between websites, which is super cool. So I can just come in here and press control V or command V and paste in my entire workshop page. Um, you can see here the video doesn't load because I have URL restrictions on. I'm currently on my demo website, um, but that would be the video of the workshop. Uh, we can see here it all came over nicely. You got the pricing table for upgrading. Uh, very cool. Okay. So this is our free workshop. This is what they're going to get access to when they sign up. But we want to put some restrictions here because we don't want anyone who comes to this page to basically get access to it. And there's two ways that we can do this. So way number one, we can restrict this space entirely utilizing sure members so that if somebody on the sidebar were to click on it, they would get the sure members error message that says you need to sign up for this workshop, click here to do that. That works great. The other way, is to not protect this page or this space inside of SureDash, but to protect the actual container that I just pasted in, protect that with Sure members, utilizing what I call conditional display, and then having another piece on the same page that is shown if they don't have access to the access group. That would be our signup form. And that signup form would be visible if they're not in the access group. And the workshop would be visible if they are in the access group. I love this little trick because it reduces the number of spaces and reduces a lot of the complexity. Let me show you how to do that. For now, let's go ahead and save our space and I'm going to go into Sure Members and I'm going to create a new access group for our workshop. So here's Sure Members here. I'm going to go to Access Groups. I'm going to add a new access group. I'm going to name this my workshop. Now, if I were doing option one that I explained previously, which is protecting that specific space group, I would select that content here. I would come to Specific Target and then I would search for the page 
And then you can see as I search for what I had titled it, you can see there's a portal space here migrating to Astra and Spectra. That would be method number one. That would restrict the entire space. But in this particular method that I'm going to use, I'm not going to restrict a specific space at all. I'm just going to create an access group and you're either in it to see this to see the workshop or you're not. So we're going to go with method two. I'm not going to worry about syncing it to a user rule. I do have another video on my channel that shows how to do that if you're interested. Uh, and I'll, I'll make other videos about that in the future. I think that could actually be quite useful in giving access to multiple uh, different workshops at once. But for this method, I want people to specifically sign up for individual workshops so that I could use something like sure triggers to tag them in my email automator and put them into different funnels. Now for choosing uh, an action for an unauthorized access, uh, don't do redirect, go ahead and just do message. Um, this isn't really going to apply because of the method that I'm going to show you, um, but we'll just go ahead and say uh, you don't have access. Just put something in here because it won't let you save the access group without it. So I've just put something in there. I just linked back to that space. I put a little button here. I'm gonna show you how this doesn't really matter, uh, but we're gonna save our access group now. With our access group added, we now need to come up with a way for adding the person into this access group. How do they get access? And you can use a variety of tools. You, you could use a tool like ConvertBox or uh, SureForms, or uh, you could use SureCart. And I'm gonna show you using SureCart because SureCart does something pretty cool that the other options don't really do. And that's they give the user a login, which is something we want to do. We want that user to log in. We want them to be able to um, be logged in we want them to have an account and feel like they're connected to our platform. So I'm going to go into SureCart next and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new product. So I'll go to SureCart products. I'll add a new product. I'll call this one workshop migrating to Astra and Spectra, just keeping it really consistent across all of our different uh, platforms we're connecting here. I'm going to keep this simple for the demo, but you can add images and you can add you know, different things that you want on here, but I'm just going to add a price and that price is going to be zero because it's a free workshop and they are ordering this, right? So sometimes people are like, well, I don't want them to get an email that says your order's ready. Here's your thing you got. Um, in my mind, that's okay because in my mind, I'm creating an ecosystem where I want that user to be familiar with the process of ordering things, right? They're ordering this free course. They're getting access to it. They're going to repeat that process when they go and they actually purchase um, my course in the future. So we'll just call this free access. Uh, it's a one-time payment, of course, because it's zero. Uh, and that's totally fine. We'll go ahead and click create price. And now we need to add an integration. So I'll scroll down here and I'll go to integrations. We'll add a new one and we'll add in, go ahead and search for or look for, there's not many here, sure members. And we're going to select our access group workshop migrating to Astro and Spectra. You'll select yours click add integration. Uh, so there we go. We have our price that's free and we have our integration uh, to the access group that we just created. Terrific. We can just go ahead and save our product from here. Awesome. Now we're going to need to create a checkout form, but I'm going to show you how to do that actually in the space in SureDash. So let's go back to our SureDash now on the left-hand side, go to SureDash. Let's go to home. We're going to go to my workshop that I created migrating to Astro and Spectra. I'm going to go to content. I'm going to click edit, which is going to bring back up this modal where we can edit the content that we added in. And I have all of the actual workshop within a container. If I open up my list view here, you can see I have one container that has everything inside of it. I can rename this container just for ease of use here. I'll call this the actual workshop content. I'll save that name. And then on the right hand side under advanced, I'm going to go down to restrict this block. And this is our conditional display. So we're going to show this block when the user is in the access group for the workshop that we created. Now I'm going to add another container. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it above. It can be a single column container, that's fine. And this container, I'm going to rename it as our signup container, just again, so that we can keep things pretty clear. Now with our signup container, I'm going to go to restrict this block under advanced again, and I'm going to say show this block when the user is not in that same workshop access group. So we're seeing the signup container when they're not in and the workshop content when they are inside of that access group. Pretty cool stuff. 
So now with our signup container, we need to add our Surecart checkout form in order for our user to get access. So here where it says add a block inside of this container, you can click on this or we can open up our block inserter and search for Surecart. I'm going to add a checkout form. I'm going to drag it into this container and it's going to ask me, do you want to select a form or create a new one? Well, I haven't created it. I haven't created one yet. So I'm going to click new form. I'm going to title this workshop. I'll go ahead and click next. Now you can choose a design for this checkout form. I'm going to choose something very simple. In fact, it's called simple. I'll just choose the simple option. I'll click next. Now we need to add a product to this form. That's going to be our free workshop that we created as a product in Surecart. I'll select that. Now for these basic options, we do want a custom thank you page and we want that to be the link to this specific page. So this is our uh, migrating to, it'll start typing the title. It'll take a second to search all our content. Let's go ahead and find the portal, the one that has the portal in uh, right here on the right hand side. Just that way when they purchase it, it just sends them right back here. That to me makes a lot of sense for a free product. Um, so yeah, the customer must purchase in quotes, right? All, all options. Let's go ahead and click create so it creates our form. Terrific, we don't need a payment section because it's a free product. We don't even need a summary. We can start you know, stripping out the parts we don't need. So now we just have an email and a button. We'll change our button to say, sign up for the workshop. We don't need to have a lock icon. We don't need to show the secure notice. Again, it's just a, a sign up form, um, but we do want to add in their first name. So here under Surecart, uh, with the form selected, sometimes if you don't select the form in Surecart, you don't see all of the relevant blocks on the left. Go ahead and select it. And now we're going to uh, look for um, the user's name, or sometimes again, select different blocks, right? If I don't have the right block selected, there we go. I'm uh, selecting email, right? Shows me that I can get the person's first name. I'll drag that in above my email and I'm going to require this field here. So I'll toggle on that I'm requiring the first name and the email address, but that's not all. Well, technically that could be all. If you want, here's an optional step. If you want, you can require the user to create a password now or they can do it next time they want to get access. I'm gonna show you how to do it now, but you can choose to leave this option off in the future. So here's our password field. I'm gonna drop this in directly below email, and I'm going to say something like, create a password, create a password for your account. And then you can always say, uh, confirm your password, right? Give those options. Uh, now we have our form ready to go, but we don't just want like a, a form there that just says sign up for the workshop. Let's put a little bit more content in here so that the user can understand what this is all about. Okay, so I've added in some content here that again states it's a free workshop, put in the, the name of this particular workshop and I've got some little text here, um, you know, telling people what they're going to get. Um, I actually just copied this again from my other website. So I'll delete that button uh, and there we go. There is our sign up form so that somebody can get access to the workshop. And again, it's all within our sign up container here in the list view. So we have our two sections. And now let's go ahead and click save. And let's go ahead and preview our space here. So I'll close out of the content that we just created. I'll click the three dots and click view space. So here's our very simple little setup that we've put in. We have our workshop space group with our workshop space on the left and we have our section in the middle for the workshop to get access. Now here's what's really cool about this, right? I'm actually I'm actually the admin on the website, but I'm not in this access group. Because it knows who I am, I'm already logged in. Pretend I'm one of your users who's like, oh I took Doug's other workshop, but I haven't taken this one. Let me sign up. It doesn't require them to enter their info. It knows who they are. I've Put my first name is Convology on this demo site. This would say Doug if it were a real user, uh, but the user can click sign up for the workshop. Uh, so if they were a brand new user, um, it would just, you know, they'd have to enter in first name, email, and they'd have to create a password. But because they're an existing user, we don't have to worry about that at all. We'll go ahead and select our form again here in Surecart or in our, our dashboard under sign up. We'll click our checkout form. Inside of our checkout form, you're looking for this part in the list view called form, select that. Now a little quirk with uh, Surecart, and again, this could be a bug, I don't really know. We, we did set our custom thank you page, but we need to set it again here. So 
what I would do is I would say when you're doing this part, just make sure that this thank you page is confirmed. Um, this has been a long standing like quirk with adding custom forms into pages. Sometimes this doesn't get populated. So we will want to put in the URL uh, directly to our workshop space within our shirt dash portal. Uh, again, that's where we want them to get directed to. And then you can change these loading texts. Um, processing, finalizing, success, whatever. You can redirect that however you want. Uh, and then just have this text in here as well. Uh, and we can go ahead and hit save. And again, I, I believe that this success text, we're gonna see how this works. It may get completely overwritten with our custom thank you page. I don't remember how this part works, but we'll experience it live together as we look at this uh, logged out to see that experience as well. But let's go ahead and hit save uh, and just hit save again if it prompts you to. And then we're going to uh, wait for that to give us the little notice here that our site is updated. We'll click out of the X and now let's come to this page in an incognito window. All right, I am completely logged out and I am pretending like I am someone who came to this workshop ecosystem here for the first time and thought, oh, you know what? I want to sign up for this. Maybe I clicked a, a link from my marketing site, my primary site to go take the workshop and I landed here. Let's go ahead and click uh, fill out the info and sign up. All right, let's go ahead and click sign up for the workshop. Cool, there we go. It just redirected me right to the workshop. Again, you could finesse the way that this looks. It was literally just a, a quick, cheap cut and paste job here. Um, but there is our workshop with, um, again, I cut and paste from my other site, so it didn't bring over the formatting for this theme on my demo site, but it brought over everything, including my FAQs, my pricing table that I, that I would want to adjust here for the sizing of this dashboard. But there you go, pretty simple stuff. All right, that's one specific example. That was like option two of the different ways in which you can protect content inside of SureDash. Using Sure members, we opted for creating a SureCart checkout form so that we can get that user used to having an account on our website, used to having an account space, setting a password, logging in, that type of thing, which makes it so much easier for them then to go sign up for any other workshop that they may find on our website or course or cohort or whatever it is that you're selling using SureCart. We're going to explore a lot of other cool things that we can do with SureDash and the rest of the SureCrafted ecosystem. So if this type of thing interests you, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out my SureDash playlist.